it's clear that there is bipartisan action uh, in Congress uh, to meet the challenge to resolve this crisis in Hong Kong. And I recall it is, 19, it is the 30th anniversary of 1989 this year, and I recall that at a, an important uh, moment of geopolitical uh, crisis uh, when a city and a free people were being threatened, and I'm thinking here of West Berlin as the Cold War got going, we had a U.S. president uh, fly in and stand with the uh, people of West Berlin and say, Ich bin ein Berliner. We had, a few decades later, President Ronald Reagan uh, go to Berlin again and say, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. It would be wonderful if President Trump would say, I stand with the people of Hong Kong. And uh, it is true that this is the capital of the free world still, and we must use whatever uh, tool we can within reason to make sure that a free city of Hong Kong does not become captive to the Chinese Communist Party. I will never forget sitting cross-legged in October of 2014 in the middle of the street, in the middle of the night, uh, hearing the stories of uh, the young protesters in that uh, umbrella revolution movement of 2014. And uh, that's an organic movement to hear their fears, to hear their hopes in their 20s, in their 30s. Young Hong Kongers with a lot to lose, whose parents and grandparents had lived in a free city. And uh, we made a, a deal with the devil in pretending that we could give Hong Kong to Beijing and that somehow democracy and communism were going to be able to coexist. Xi Jinping has made it very clear in the last two years that he rejects the one country, two systems policy and intends to make Hong Kong just another city with no special rights, autonomy, or freedom, uh, just like every other city in the People's Republic of China. The people you're about to hear from, young people, courageous dissidents, artists with their art along the walls, um, high school students, they are here to tell their story about what they are doing in Hong Kong, and they are the front line of civilization and the free world. So thank you for being here, and let's speak up. We have the ability to speak, uh, and let's speak up and stand with the people of Hong Kong. Thank you.